So now the check marks that we do want, put a check mark in front of event. And on mine, it defaulted to putting the events down the list on, uh, uh, down the rows. That works great. Now, scroll down a little further and click on item purchased. And then scroll down a little further and put a check mark in front of price paid. Now what it came up with still isn't quite useful to me. So this is where it gets really interesting. This is where we start pivoting the table. So I like that it put my events across here, no, down here. So I can see my sales from the Christmas Bazaar, the Holiday Blitzen, and the Festival of the Last Minute. Um, I want to make this a little wider because these are hard to read. So I'm going to hold my cursor between the A and the B up in the column header up here at the top. And I can tell that I'm in the right place because I get this double-headed arrow. And I'm going to go ahead and drag that a little wider so that everything's on one or two lines, just to make it a little easier to read. Now what I'm going to do is pivot this. What I would like to see is what items I actually sold. So I'm going to look down, and I see here count of something with an I. And these are a little small, and I can make the box wider if I want. So I don't want to count how many items were purchased. I want to see what items were purchased. So I'm going to pick that up, and I'm going to drag it from values box up to the column labels box. And look what it did. It now changed it from whatever gibberish that actually was to here are all the different items that I sold. And if I want, I can widen my columns to make them fit a little better. But now I can see what prices, how much I made on each of these different items at each of the different shows that I did. See how that works? So I can see at the Christmas Bazaar, I had um, I made $74.95 in health bracelets. And actually, that was my grand total for all of the shows. My horoscope necklace at the Holiday Blitz, and I did really well with those. And in fact, that's one of my best sellers for the whole uh, for the whole week. Now maybe I want to see instead of um, well let, let's switch it around. No, let's see. Okay, let's continue to pivot so you can see really how these this information can shift around. I'm going to pick up item purchased and I'm going to drag it down from column labels down into the row labels square. So I'm just picking up that field and dragging and dropping it. And so now I put it below the event. So now in row labels, I see event and item purchased. So now I have a whole different chart. I can see at the Christmas Bazaar, here are the products I sold, and here's how much money I made at each one, including a grand total. Let's flip it around. Pick up item purchased from the row labels and drag it up above event. And if you need to, try dragging event down below item purchase. That might work a little better. Now, my subtotals are all the, the jewelry, and then I can see broken down below how much I made at each show. And so you can keep manipulating these just by dragging them around and around. Now that I have item purchased in the rows, maybe I'll drag event up to the columns. And so now you can see why I called this you know, twisted or twisty, because you can keep dragging things around until you get the exact layout that is the most helpful to you.